Again, I do not know how to control myself and I really really need to learn how to control myself because sis, you flames, you flames, like look at you sis, like ah. anyway, <laughs> hi, hello, how are you doing, welcome to or welcome back to my channel, if you're new here my name is Raquel and yeah, thank you so much if you're coming back to watch yet another video, you loyal, I love you, how do I look? <laughs> So her given hair has done it again. Can you guess what this is? Like, do you even have an idea of what this is? Is it a wig? Are they clippings? Who knows? Okay, now I'm gonna tell you the secret. Honey, this is their U part wig. They have done it again. They've come through and they have managed to pull, like they've catered for my and hair and I'm happy I cannot believe how much this hair blends in with my hair like can you see that curl pattern like guys I finally managed to achieve a curl pattern that I actually like and I'm gonna show you guys how I achieve this because you guys know that my hair is literally like this and in no way it's not possible for me to get tight curls like this I don't know I've never been able to get tight curls like this it would always go frizzy but I finally managed to achieve the curls that literally match the curl pattern of um, the hair piece that I have on now so yeah like I said this is a U part wig from her given hair and if you're interested in knowing how I achieve this look using this wig then keep on watching this is the wig packaging and the box kind of opens up like a drawer like you see here in the box you will find the hair some extra clip and elastic band and lastly a little booklet that gives you more information on the hair installation tips and how to maintain the hair the wig construction is a u part like i said and the curls look pretty decent right from the box to be honest inside you'll find the elastic band attached and a few clips to help secure the wig in place the first thing i'm gonna do is to wet the hair thoroughly this brings back any lost curl patterns from there i add some conditioner and work it in there then run my fingers through the hair to spread the conditioner and untangle the hair as you can see this kind of brought the curls back to life and they look kind of juicy now they're nice and they're popping next i'm just gonna rinse that out and then leave it to air dry so I did realize some shedding during the washing process and this is how much was lost. Hi again, so I'm back with a full head of twists and I made them a lot thinner just around the middle part, you'll see why. And then we have to cut out the lace in the middle carefully and then lastly you just pop on the wig and secure it in place. Okay. So this is where I feel I should have brought the sides a bit closer to the parting because I believe it would have made the blending process much easier. So I would advise that the shorter the hair, the smaller the leave out portion, if you get what I mean. You'll see what I mean in a bit anyways. Then I go on to unravel all my twists carefully to avoid any unnecessary breakage and frizzing. My hands were completely dry as I did this by the way. I like how this can also be used as a protective style because um, apart from where there's a leave out, my hair is completely protected underneath in the form of twists. If you know how to do your cornrows or anything like that, then by all means, you can have that too under there. So yeah, win-win. I have noticed that my hair is becoming a lot darker these days, so 1B is a bit off nowadays. I definitely could have gotten it in a slightly darker color, but I just might try to dye it black and hopefully that would match my um, natural hair seamlessly. Anyway, this part is all about preference, guys just work on making it look seamless i i tried combining my natural hair with the wig in twists and that really helped a lot as you can see it's kind of sorta blending yana <laughs> the very front 
um, was a bit tough to blend up because my hair is way shorter than the wig. So um, I don't know. Even the shape of my hairline is a disadvantage as well because it's like an M shape. So that's why I suggest you clip the sides closer to the parting if your hair is much shorter or if you have an M shaped hairline like me. Lastly, some edge control. I'm not gonna go overboard with it because I'm just like, I was just trying to create a natural kind of lazy wash and go hairstyle. You feel me? Like, not too much. Like, natural. This is my hair, like, babes. <laughs> so, yeah, this is how we're looking. It's definitely popping. I like it. Just if only my hair was a bit longer, but hey, we can make it work, right? The blending okay it could be better but i really really like it look at how close um the wig matches my natural hair um it could be better but i'm impressed with what i'm seeing right now this is my first attempt and i like it so yeah guys this is the finished look let me know what you think about this process this installation process like i'm in awe like i'm in shock like i'm amazed once again you, like you've gotta trust her given hair honey like <laughs> we have come to the end of the video my honeys thank you so much for watching until this point until i see you in my next video much love from rex